but that actually that battle kind of came out in my favor by a lot. Um, but yeah, so actually we're pretty even now. I got he's got an expansion, I've got an expansion. Um, I'm just pumping out more bears. I should have if, if I had the money, I would have been making some some uh, hippogriff by now. That would have been so much smarter. Because he's out of ghouls. I mean, he's out of, uh, uh, you know, gargoyles. And he's. I know. I know he's going to counter. This is the part where I should have been thinking. You know, he's going to counter my dryads. I mean, meat wagons aren't too expensive. You could just get meat wagons and a bombs, and I lost. Meat, meat, uh, meat wagons, a bombs, maybe a couple of destroyers, and just you know, micro them in and out, just in case they get focus fired. But you know, I was just counting on my demon hunter to win the game for me as usual. So. Right now, he's got like five A bombs and, you know, level four Lich, level five DK. Uh, things aren't looking too good because uh, as soon as those heroes get pretty high level, things get pretty nasty. So, <clears throat> alright, so. So, so, so. Orange Star has the expansion still, as I've already mentioned about a thousand times. It's building a couple more uh, A-bombs. Mass A-bombs going on. I should see, uh, I mean, I should have had that Chimera. One Chimera just would have won this game for me. So nice. Because I could just use a Roar and the Chimera, then use Rejuvenation on it. And uh, Hippogriff to take out any uh, destroyers from stealing my, my uh, buffers. Um... And I'm sitting in my base. What the hell am I doing? Okay, there I go. Now I'm moving. I, I was waiting for a town portal. Okay. And I was uh, doing a little scanning around the map, looking for expansions or whatnot. Alright, so. Very nice. Just mass creeping going. Mass, mass creeping. And he got an amulet of spell shield doesn't really help him too much or at all because I'm not using mana burn but whatever okay so I think um, from right here I'm just gonna stop his expansion um, looks like a battle is gonna take place but I think he avoids the battle or something yeah, he just kind of cuts out. Not sure. He probably thought it wasn't a smart idea to battle. So, anyways, the battle will be in a minute. You know, just gotta wait for me to search the map. So, the following things I could have done better in this game. Number one, I should have expanded again. Number two, I shouldn't have built so many dryads. I should have went right to Hippogriff Chimera plus bears, or just one bear for roar on the Hippogriff Chimera. That wins every time. That's like the trump card. Number three, certain micro issues. Alright, so anyways, here's the battle. Again, I'm leading with my dryads. Not very smart. Okay, now I'm getting them run over. I do not know what I'm doing, but I have a... My Demon Hunter level 3 emulation just chilling. The Dryads are kind of being stupid and they're just uh, not being smart. They're kind of running in the back line. There we go. Bears are going down though. Bears are going way down. And I use Rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter. You know it pretty much owned all those bears at this point. Uh, the Nova. That's what it was. So anyways, level th uh, now I'm just kind of parking my butt in the middle here just kind of focusing a bombs so it's pretty much demon hunter versus one two three four five six a bombs and I'm being surrounded watch this this is my favorite part of the game this is when my demon hunters just single-handedly owns like you know three a bombs that was pretty tight six a bombs in a lich versus a demon hunter that's pretty good wasn't that cool did you guys like that that's why immolation rules so much. You guys just don't even know. I would, though. I've been using Demon Hunter forever. 
So level nine, almost level ten. Level ten is good game. I don't even need to build units. I just put pots on my hero and just have them run around the map. And at level ten, they should just give the demon hunter a cape and shit. It's just yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm building more bears. Not not too smart. I should have just discontinued the bears and you know what I should have done just built more dryads to tell you the truth I think he lost all his meat wagons in that battle so if I'd have built more dryads at this point I could have I wouldn't have to worry about the nuke and dryads can beat abominations just by a little micro oh actually he does have meat wagons oh the hero can just focus those that's no big deal I can just tell demon hunter go kill the meat wagons with two hits and so anyways, I lost my expansion. What a shame. If you're gonna lose your expansion, please don't try and heal it. Nova would just own every single wisp you have in like two seconds. So this is pretty much end of the game here. Um, because there's no chance of me winning. Even as sexy as my hero is. Because... Destroyers own bears. Um... So I'm trying my best to focus the uh, destroyers, um, but that's not really doing too much. So mana burn going off, destroyer going down. I should have ran back there and focused the uh, meat wagons real quick, but that's all right. I just, you know, kind of just lost every unit I have. Um, I use my ultimate to save my life, so it works for a second. Anyway, he's doing smart things, trying to, you know, do that Gosu block move. Um, whatever. It's going to take like 40 moon wells to heal all that hit points. Alright, so. I'll run out there again. Kill that last little destroyer. Mana burn the uh, Lich. That was a pretty good move. Um. You could use, uh, of course, rejuvenation. I'm just really just trying to buy some time. I mean, I'm, I'm in history. This game's pretty much over. I'm just trying to pull everything I have out right now. Um, just gonna now. Now that he has no mana on his death knight, I'm just gonna focus his lich and uh, take that down. So, or I was gonna focus the lich. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, I think I was going for the meat wag. I don't know. So. Um, you know, I think I probably could have pulled, you know, made this game last a little bit. I could have played this, you know, I could have ran and maybe, uh, you know, used my tree of life to walk across the map and, and, you know, just waited to nightfall. I could have maybe won this game. I think, I think there's a possibility. I could have chosen better units to focus fire on in that battle. Um, you know, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. You guys can think about it. I'm, I think uh, that's really up to, to your, your thought. Anything can happen. Um, but it was a good game nonetheless. I, I you know, I think there's things that I could have done better to this game that could have maybe put out a victory for me. Um, but, you know, this, basic, this game just kind of shows you how things can kind of go bad. Um, it was a good game overall. So, it was fun. I enjoyed that game. Hope you guys learned from that. <coughs> you know, I, I know this... Um, this audio might go on for a while, but I'm going to do it anyways. I think I'm going to load up game number two. Um, and I'll explain, uh, you know, what you could could be doing better. This game is first Death Monocle. Um, it's, on, it's on Turtle Rock. I, I do my opening a little different this game. I used, uh, I used Archers. Um, let's pause this game at the two-minute mark as well. And, uh... Turned out pretty good. This is act, this game's older than the one I just played by by a bit. I'm not sure how old it is. This is about the time when I first started figuring out that I should be using Hippogriff um, instead of uh, Mass Dryads. Um, Hippogriff Chimera. I figured it out this game. I think I, I know, but I'm kind of dicking around with it. So anyways, let's unpause this replay. In five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Alright, so, um, 
Okay, so I open up the game. Just gonna get a little bit of archers. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and watch this game uh, for a little bit on 2x speed. So I'm at the 2 minute and 18 second mark, 19, 20, 21. When you get to the 2 minute and 30 second mark, let's go to uh, 2x. So 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so we're at the 2x speed right now. There's just a little bit of harassing of the standard. You know, I'm just gonna, you know. Slash your ghoul a little bit. He's got a f new Urbian Tower, typical anti harassment crap. So, anyways, I'm just massing archers in my base, attacking at the same time, going in and out, just looking things around here. Um, I'm just kind of assessing the situation. Um, I kind of get the impression that, you know, he's going to creep instead of attack. Um, he's just trying to go for us around here. One thing I find about Undead is. You know, if you're gonna mana burn, I mean that's a that's a big that's a big hindrance to your opponent as for harassing. But if you're not gonna go mana burn like you, like I'm not in my strategies, there's no point in really harassing undead too much uh, because you're not gonna really slow him down and you're gonna risk getting your hero surrounded. And plus, by the time you get a few archers out, you can crap uh, crap <laughs> creep. Yeah, you can crap faster than undead. I'm losing it here, guys. So anyways, I'm just going to do some creeping. And plus, you know, I'd rather have a higher level hero because that immolation level 2 is uh, very, very nice. So, I also recommend that, unlike what I'm doing right here, I recommend that you um, creep in areas that your opponent does not expect you to. Undead players love to find a elf player who's using archers first creeping. They just freaking love it. They run in with their ghouls, and you look like an idiot because you get your hero surrounded or you lose a bunch of archers. Not good. So do not risk. Uh, anyway, so here comes in dead player right now. Oh, shit, I did use mana burn first. What, 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 what am I doing? Okay, so that's weird. I don't remember using a... Uh, this must be an older game. So anyway, it's, it's a good game, though, anyways, too. He used the... Lightning Shield was just smart. He should have been attacking. I don't know what he's doing. He's got a few weak, uh, whatever. So, yeah, I had to cancel a building. Um, going bears, of course, the bear strategy, which is nice. Is if he does go uh, guards, I can just camp my archers in my base, and I should be fine. He's not going to really try and harass wisps too much with like five archers in your base. You know, those those guards going to take a lot of damage pretty quick. So anyways, Ring of Regen uh, Generation, that always comes out real nice, level 3. Um, let's see here, I pick up a oh, experience scroll, very, very nice. That's always nice. And I sold all that crap for some ungod reason, I don't know why. Anyway, so here's my uh, Tree of Eternity, pick up a Orb of Venom. And here comes my bears. And... Uh, that's pretty much that. Okay, now I pick up a Beastmaster. Um, oh, for this strategy, uh, I do a little something different. If I pick up a Beastmaster second, what you should do is instead of building one Ancient of Wonders, you should build two, and you can pick up an Orb of Venom for your your Demon Hunter and your your uh, Beastmaster. This strategy kicks ass, guys. I, it might even be better. Um, than the one I just showed you. If you go, check this out. If you have four, five archers, a Beastmaster, a Demon Hunter level 3, and about three or so bears instead of five, because you had to pick up a hero plus an extra hero, plus you had to put, put an Aura of Venom on it, you, you lose. So you pick up one, um, one uh, of Preservation, Staff of Preservation, you put it on your Demon Hunter, and what he'll most likely do is he'll try and focus your Beastmaster. So you leave one bear in bear form so you can use rejuvenation on your, your Beastmaster. You attack your opponent. You can pretty much end the game right there. This this is a... Uh, so what you do is uh, right now I should I should have attacked about two minutes ago using this strategy.